Okay, so let us quickly take a look how the data will look like and how are we going to use it. So we will need the airport data as well as the airlines data and we can get it from appendix, airline and appendix airports. We will need the flight status and we can get it from flight statuses and it's an array and in most of the cases it will be the zeroth index that we are looking for. So you will need the operational times. So this is something which we will need for landing time and uh, takeoff time and remaining time and stuff like that. So let's, the, yeah, the most important thing is the status. Based on this, we will route them on different components. Like if it's landed, show them this page. If it's in air, show them this page. If it's scheduled, show them a different page. So that's how it will be. All right, so quickly let's go back to our code. On the search, we, we are getting the final data and we are even setting this data. But let's take a look at where do we get the data. So we will take a look at here, json.stringify and data. So look at this thing. You might get a data right at the bottom. It's an empty object in the beginning. And once you do a search, this will auto populate itself. OK, so that's pretty good. We have all the information in here. Now let's do one more thing. I, I think I already did it. But let's see this Emirates. I need to check if I have assigned the states already. I did the assigning of the state at this point, carrier, date, flight number, and they are changing when we change something. So what we are doing at this point, we are doing the base case checking. So if there is no carrier, or if there is no flight number, or if there is no date, throw an error and you need to of course need to return it just not to fetch anything out of it but if we have a carrier all right so we can change it we can make this string dynamic by putting carrier here we can change the flight number flight num this is a tricky part. We get the string in a different format. And as I mentioned before, it is something like 2019-1211, right? So we need to change it to 2019-12-11. Slash slash so we will be using a function like a regex operator to change it. And we can use replace as for now so let's do this var formatted date equals to date dot replace and replace this with this and formatted date dot replace dash with slash okay so at this point console we will even console log formatted date and we will console log date okay great uh, not data it's date great good I did that okay so at this point let's see what happens and before that let me change this to formatted date all right so let's go back to the view and see okay if you had two four one date is today's date there you go we got an error and 
is saying that it's not found. 404 not found. Let's see. Okay, so you see this because you cannot have this. So you might have to do something like that. Oh, okay, because this is the first format. First format update and first format. And this thing will not save the value. So you will have to create another one. Date equals to first format dot replace. There might be a is definitely a better way of doing it, but this is a messy way. But for now it's alright. Let's go back to the view. 241 date is today's date. Alright, so we got some response. See, this is some real time and Emirates, if I go for Etihad, let's see what it is. Let's see. Or Qatar. Right. We have Qatar Airways. And that's perfect. We got what we wanted. So let's make routes to make it more sensible. And routes will be something like when you get a status at this stage, uh, Let's search for status. Okay, so this status is landed. So when we have a landed page, you are supposed to show them the landed, the time it landed, and arrival and destination. When it's scheduled, you need to show them at what time it is scheduled to take off, and arrival and departure. And in in air, you need to show them at what time it's supposed to land. So in the next video, we will do that. So see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.